New at noon, as expected, House Republicans have removed Congresswoman Liz Cheney from her leadership position. Yeah, Cheney has really been a harsh critic of President Trump, and many believe her opposition to the former president cost her today. CBS 4's Natalie Brand is live on Capitol Hill with the latest. Natalie, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Keith and Maribel. This vote happened in less than 20 minutes. We initially thought it would happen by secret ballot, but the House GOP leader then moved forward, decided to move forward with a vote verbally. Meanwhile, Congresswoman Cheney no longer in House leadership, but she vows to lead the fight to restore the Republican Party. Behind closed doors, House Republicans used a voice vote to remove Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney from her leadership post. Do you feel betrayed by today's vote? I do not. I think that uh, it is uh, an indication of where the Republican Party is, uh, and I think that the party uh, is in a place that we've got to bring it back from, and we've got to get back to a position where uh, we are a party that can fight for conservative principles. Ahead of Thank the vote, Cheney much, took to the House Thank floor Tuesday much, night to warn friend, that uh, former colleague. president. And Trump is threatening democracy with election fraud lies. Remaining silent and ignoring the lie emboldens the liar. I will not participate in that. Cheney had survived a previous attempt to oust her from her role as conference chair back in February after she voted to impeach former President Trump on a charge of inciting the January 6th Capitol attack. I uh, will do uh, everything I can to ensure. Uh, that uh, the former president never again gets anywhere near the Oval Office. We have seen the danger uh, that he continues to provoke with his language. House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy had defended Cheney back then, but has since thrown his support behind New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, an ally of former President Trump. Do you support Elise Stefanik for that job? Yes, I do. Wednesday's vote makes clear former President Trump maintains a firm grip on GOP party politics, but also reveals a split. Uh, Liz has committed the only sin of being consistent and telling the truth. The vote to replace Cheney could come as early as Friday. And a source in that meeting earlier today tells CBS News that candidates who want to replace Cheney must declare by today. Now, I have reached out to the offices of South Florida's three Republican House members for their comment about all of this to try to learn how they voted. No word back yet. I also have not heard from Florida's senators. Maribel. Natalie Brand, thank you so much for that live report from Washington.